Okay? Do you know what the distinction is between contrary and contradictory propositions is? Well, your study and mastery of categorical logic will explain this distinction for you. We know that categorical logic in general is the study of class membership, inclusion or exclusion, either in whole or in part, between two categories. Take our example, for instance, all dogs are mammals. What does this say? It says that if you are a member of the category dogs, you are also a member of the category mammals. Hmm. Now, don't take that personally. What would be the contrary of this type A universal affirmative categorical proposition? Well, we know from studying the square of opposition that the contrary of a type A proposition is going to be a type E universal negative proposition. No dogs are mammals. If you are a dog, a member of the category of thing called dogs, you are also not a member of the category of things called mammals. Total class membership exclusion is expressed by the proposition type E. So that's what it means to be contrary. Type A, all dogs are mammals, is the contrary of no dogs are mammals. Now, what would be the contradiction of all dogs are mammals? Well, we know it's not a type E. But what about a type O? What does a type O proposition express or claim? It says, some dogs are not mammals. Hmm. Some members of the category of thing called dogs are not also members of the category thing called mammals. That directly contradicts the type A proposition all dogs are in the category mammals. So, interestingly enough, concerning contraries, ask yourself this question. Could both of them be true at the same time? Oh no, both can't be true at the same time. But could both be false at the same time? Now ask yourself this question about contradictories. Obviously, both cannot be true at the same time. But furthermore, the truth of one entails the falsity of the other. The falsity of one entails the truth of the other. We shall see, by walking around the square of opposition and asking ourselves what immediate inferences can we make concerning the propositional types themselves, we will come to some very useful cutting tools in critical thinking and logic. They're called immediate inferences. I've already given you a hint about one of them, and that will be the subject of our next video.